and just like that it's the next day as you can see the sun is out man so you know what time it is bumper already kind of together i gotta go down there and get some of the hardware off the other one and then once i do that we'll be able to go man so y'all stay right there i'm gonna try and do it a little different because y'all already seen me do the bumper install so i ain't gonna waste y'all time with that so i think i'm gonna just give y'all a time lapse i'm gonna give you a nice little view from the deck you know what i'm saying but y'all sit there and enjoy Days coming from my baby, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And look, it's still clean. Any and all the way put together, still shooting a lot of these rides. You feel me? That's still, that's still that thing. You feel me? That's Big Serena right there. You put some respect on her name. thinking about it man there is one thing that i wanted to tell y'all so this weather strip is held in with these special rivers i can't remember the size i think it's like 3 16th but you got to get a special size um rivet that'll go in there to hold that on but y'all can see man it's all done Due to the fact that I wasn't trying to take these brackets off, these brackets that go right here, cause I could have took them off my old one, but it was a little bit of a hassle and I wasn't trying to go through all that. So I'm about to shoot over here to the local Dodge, pick up some new brackets that was only like 50 bucks. So I was like, I might as well do that. Cause whoever I sell it to, they'll be able to just go ahead and slap a new one on, man. But I'm about to go get these brackets and we're gonna have it put on. So y'all stay right there. Like that, picked up the parts, man. You feel me? Good to go. So, we're gonna go back, uh, throw these on because if you don't know about these little brackets, it's kind of difficult to get up off of there. I ain't gonna lie to you, but once you get them off, you're in there. All right, man, we back and the brackets are all in. So, these are the brackets right here. And like I said, man, I didn't take them off of the old one just because they difficult to get out and I wasn't trying to break nothing, you know what I'm saying? And for the next person, whoever ends up buying the bumper. It's just gonna be easier to install for them and they get to save a little money, you know? So it's all good. But it ended up costing me, I think it was like 80 bucks for these. So that ain't bad. But you can see the wiring, it's all tucked away. And the one thing that I didn't get is the absorber, but that's coming next. So that really ain't no big deal. I could just pop it off, pop it on, whatever. That's just the, um, it's for like your collision absorber or whatever. But honestly, if you have anything hit in the front anyways, whether that absorber is there or not, it ain't gonna matter. <laughs> Cause that thing gonna be through either way. Yeah, so we got it out here. I'm about to go ahead and throw this on real quick. You know what I'm saying? I was gonna give y'all another time lapse, but it looked like my phone keep running out of storage. So it's only so much I can do, but I'm gonna hurry up and do this before the sun get dark. Before the sun get dark, before it get dark. As you can 
can see, man, it's a new day. About to go ahead and head over here to the shop. Got an oil change about to do. And then uh, they've been moving some of the stuff out. So we about to move some new stuff in, man. You feel me? Go ahead and start this new season, man. So y'all stay there. Like, share, subscribe, get in the comments, hit that bell. tour man y'all can see a little bit of what it's looking like because a lot of the stuff that was in there in the last video isn't gonna be there this time so y'all can get a little better idea of what we're gonna be doing in there and just like that we're here man you see we got the client car outside she just dropped it off about to go ahead and take her back to the house man we're gonna go ahead and get a ride together so you can see out in here it's, a, it's just a lot we still gotta clean up we still gotta move in period we're going through you know kind of moving stuff around but it's gonna look so good in here man i can't wait to show y'all and we get to keep on with the bills too so it's a big bonus man and y'all already know man i done spent so much time outside and put the installs in on the ground man it's just it's second nature to me you know what i mean like even uh when i did the bumper i could have came up to the shop but i'm just so used to you know what i'm saying just going outside and doing it i just did it like that but anyways man we can go ahead and move some of this stuff out the way, pull this car in here, get right on to it, man. So y'all stay right there. Shoot this back to the client, man. You see, so we will get cut. Oh, just staying out here. Staying, staying gang. <laughs> we don't condone. No, I'm just <laughs> but nah, man. So now we got the whip all together. It's riding and everything. You know what I'm saying? Got to clear the code out, all that. It's rolling good. So we can go ahead, shoot around the corner, drop the car off to the client. All right, man. So it's another day. You feel me? And uh, I ain't gonna say beautiful Cincinnati, but we in Cincinnati, man. And if you follow me on Instagram at Whips of Wavy, you already know, man, it is snowing. Or at least it just was. That's how quick it is here in Cincinnati, man. It'll be snowing and it gets sunny out of nowhere. Like, it was just sleeting a few minutes ago. But anyway, so y'all know, man, I'm always burning through my tires. But y'all know I got a little stash on deck. So I went ahead, had to tap the source real quick. You feel me? We can go ahead and throw some new tires on. But they not going on my Hellcat rims. I got it my OEM joints that came with the car when I first got it. I'm about to put those on for my winter ones, right? So y'all already know that I've been trying to sell them. I'm in the process of trying to get rid of my OEM Hellcat rims. If you want them, get at me. But um, some new wheels on the way, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna tell y'all too much. I ain't gonna give away the sauce, you feel me? But just know, I told y'all, man, 2021, we going all the way up. I'm doing all the mods. As soon as we get all the aesthetics on the outside looking good, we're gonna start on the performance, man. And y'all know I'm not playing no games when I get to that. But y'all know what to do. Hit that like, share, subscribe, and y'all stay right there because we got another banger on the way. Just like that, man, we loaded up. And look, 
what I tell y'all, man. Just as quick as I said it. It's already starting to sleet and stuff again. You can kind of see it hitting the hood a little bit. But got the car loaded up. So now we about to, you know, know where I'm going. Extreme right down the way. So we can go ahead, get these tires put on, and then um be ready for these winter roads, man. Like, but I ain't gonna be driving in the winter. This is just so I can sell my wheel. Just like that, we mounted up, man. Not even on no uh no edit time, bro. I think that really took like five minutes, if that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like that's why I rock with my people over here at Extreme, man. You in Cincinnati, Ohio, and you need some good quick work. Get in my people, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. Good work. I'm trying to talk them into getting the Instagram. So bear with me, you know what I mean? But they uh they be booming on the business side, man, and they good people up there. And I'm talking, they get you in and out, you know what I mean? No hassle. But uh we got the tires on, so now. What we're gonna go do go load up the other two rims and it's looking like the sleet is slowing down a little bit so i'll be able to go ahead load the truck up shoot over here to the shop and swap the wheels out man and hopefully we'll have a buyer soon man i'm ready to get rid of these things so i can bring these new boys home to the channel you know what i'm saying but we ain't gonna bring them in till till them old things gone you know what i mean so you just gotta be patient same way i am all right man so we up here at the shop you feel me truck up here Got everything we need, so I'm about to go ahead and pull the car in here. I'm just gonna get everything set up. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna clean up for sure. And y'all already know about it. I can't wait to put that on. I can't lie to y'all, but I'm so excited to see that. Look, I put up a picture you probably saw on Instagram. If you follow me, Ed Whips and Wavy. Um, put up a picture on Instagram showing it, man, just to see what it looked like mounted. Cold, bro. Can't wait. See, they sitting good, looking really even. So, it's no crazy setup. I just wanted to kind of do a stagger thing because I had so many, y'all seen it, man. I had so many tires in the crib. I was able to just go ahead and throw these on here. And I think these are the, uh, so a lot of people been asking how I get that kind of hot rod look. What I'm running in the back, 265, 50, 20. So, as you know, that's basically a truck tire, you know what I mean? huge but you can see that that stance right there when they get next to each other that's that's that good big boy ride you know what i mean and you see the tread on them ready to go man ready to go so i'm gonna go ahead pull the car in here mount these up we're gonna start on a couple of these little installs man you know what i'm saying so y'all enjoy see man they the same size and as far as the tires go we run it almost the exact same setup i think uh, let me double check because these are the wheels that came with it when i first got the car yep 245 45 20s what i got on the front right now i think that's what i got on here yeah 245 45 20 so we run in the same exact setup it's just a different wheel and until i get these new rims in 
saying? They just gonna have to do it. It's kind of funny because the well, no, nah, I ain't even gonna tell y'all. You ain't even gonna tell y'all. We gonna keep the secret. My man Jeff in the cut. Make sure you give him a follow at Mo Bar Heaven. Yeah. But y'all see, man, it's coming together. I'm trying to tell you, piece by piece, piece by piece, little by little. You see these back ones back here, man. This is, this is how you get that hot rod stance. A lot of people been asking, you just go get you some truck tires. And honestly, you're gonna save you a couple bucks for real. And me personally, I, I love the staggered look, but I love that hot rod stance, bro. Especially with the flares on there, because it just looks, it looks mean and it looks unique. Because I don't see a lot of people running that with the wide body. I haven't really seen too many at all. I think I've only seen one other person besides me, but I mean, it's, it's, it's different, you know what I'm saying? Like. I like to do stuff that's different. I don't like to look like everybody else. That's another reason why we're doing this. Because a lot of people hate on the banana. But I was like, you know what? I ain't going to let y'all take my pride. You know what I'm saying? We're going to keep rocking the banana. But I'm going to upgrade it for you. I'm going to make it loud. I'm going to make you notice it even more. <laughs> you feel me? That's what, that's what you do when people throw negativity on something you like. You make them notice it even more. <laughs> you feel me? So we're just going to go ahead and start diving into these installs, man. Probably jack the car up get these wheels traded out and then like i said these are for sale these hellcat ones get at me dm me good price um you know cincinnati local pickup we can do delivery but i have to negotiate some prices because i don't really know how to do that i never ship no wheels but we'll figure all that out All right, man, so we almost done with the with the driver's side, but whoa. Wowzers, that's crazy. I'm glad I went ahead, took these up off the literal rubber bands, but no tread. <laughs> that's crazy. But y'all can see it, man. I like how them look, I won't lie. I like how them look. It's a nice little, you know what I'm saying, winter wheel. I ain't too mad about it. Uh oh, hold up. The wheel trying to get away. It's gonna come down here and try to knock something over. We ain't doing that. This is just so y'all can get it so y'all can get an idea of how far these tires is. So y'all know I'm selling these, but I'm about to put two new brand new tires on them back ones. And you see them front ones, them still brand new for me. They really ain't been rolled too bad. Got real good tread on them. But um, get them on there. I won't lie, man. I, I like how this looks. The black match better. I won't. I mean, the wheels and I ain't too crazy about them, but I mean they clean. That's all that matters. But we back in project mode, man. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know we back in project mode. Waiting on them pieces to come in. We gonna swap them out. Got something coming for that. Gonna paint the car, man. It's it's a whole lot coming for the channel. You feel me? And for the build, it's a lot coming. And y'all see we in the shop, so. It's a lot coming, man. 2021 is looking real good right now. Yes, sir. So, the winter tires are all on, man. All mounted up. And I got to say, for some winter wheels, it does not look bad at all. And it still got the same stance that we had from before, man. Ignore that. That's just on there for a little something I had to fix. Because I don't know if y'all know. I be, I be telling y'all about the roads in Ohio. So, had a little incident where the fender came down super hard on a pothole and it popped it. So this came off a little bit, but you know, that ain't nothing to the kid. I can fix that. We'll be right back to seamless OEM, you know what I mean? Just like how this side is. Ready to go. All right, so now we got the wheels on. We can go ahead and start her up, go for a little ride around here. All right, man, so we're back from the first ride. I gotta say, man, I like how I ride on these new wheels, man. I don't know what it is, but it's feeling a lot more plenty now. I feel like these might be a little lighter, man. I don't know. It's something, but the tires is definitely helping bite. So we done cleared out the garage a little more. You feel me? Got a little more workspace. So you about to have my man Jeff pull his in here. You feel me? See what it looked like with two cars in here at once.
All right, man. So as a lot of y'all know, this glitter is from the old whip, and I was in an accident, but I've been smoothing it down, trying to get it back to where it was. Cause the red looking good. I just wanna, you know what I'm saying? Get rid of some of them grooves. You might be able to see it in some of the clips, but like you see like that right there. I just want it back smooth, you feel me? So I'm, I'm rubbing that down, trying to get it back right. Cause I was just gonna paint over it, but I was like, man, if I'm gonna do it, I might as well do it right. You know what I'm saying? Cause the rest look real good. So I'm gonna go ahead, fix these little touch up spots. And then we gonna clear coat it. And then we gonna throw it on there, man. Y'all stay tuned. Like that man, it's on there. Yes, yeah, sir. That look mean, man. And I won't lie, it's got it's, it's got its little imperfections, you know what I'm saying? And, and then my man Jeff, you know what I'm saying? We had a little situation over here too. Like that's what I was just telling him, bro. Every everything happened for a reason, you know what I'm saying? And just like how I'm about to fix this, we can fix that. You feel me? The whole process with the cars, man. Everything don't go perfect the first time. That's why you learn. That's why you learn to fix things, you know what I'm saying? But it was just a quick, easy day, you know what I mean? Just gonna throw the splitter on there. Y'all got to see the, the new bumper. Got the new wheels on there. I gotta say, man, this new setup is looking serious. Ooh. Can't wait to get that piece, bro. And the whole aesthetic on the outside gonna look good. And then this tape is on here. Just cause I wanna fix this little gap, man. It's a, everything on here has been seamless, but it's like this corner that's not wanting to tuck. I don't know why, so. We gonna see what happens, man. Like I say, oh, almost just fell and died. But like I say, man, nothing's perfect. You just gotta keep working until it's where you want it to be, man. So y'all hit that like, share, subscribe. Get in the comments, man. Let me know how y'all feeling about the build, man. Let me know what y'all thinking about the wheels, you know what I'm saying? That new splitter game, you know what I mean? And just the build overall. It, oof, that thing looks so nasty in the background. But that's going to be it for me, man. Until next time, y'all stay cool.